what is up YouTube Brian here back again with another video and today we are doing our June unboxing of the JDM bento box from our friends at hookup tackle now if you're new to the channel um, this subscription service with the hookup tackle has been going for a while now I've been a subscriber since day one I've literally unboxed every single box that Ben at hookup tackle has sent out and I've, uh, I've opened them up every single time for you all on YouTube and today is no exception now I have been out of town I was up in the Alexandria, Minnesota area this weekend on a family trip, did a lot of fishing, had a lot of fun. Uh, this box was waiting for me when I got home, so we're going to open it up. I know a lot of people have already gotten their boxes, opened it up, and there's been a lot of discussion on these baits. I've seen most of the stuff that's in here, so it's not like a big surprise. However, not going to stop us from opening it up. So again, if you're not following me on Instagram, you definitely should. Uh, today's unboxing we're doing with this little Supreme Hype Beast knife that I got, a little keychain knife. Um, I think it's cool. Uh, anyway, so, um, you know, summer fishing is going really well. I got more rod reviews coming. I know I haven't done a rod review in a minute, but I also want to really test stuff before I make videos. I don't just want to make videos when I haven't had a lot of seat time on the rods, and I have been using a lot of them, and I'm really close to getting feeling good about making some reviews. I'm going to do the Steez flipping rod. I'm going to do a Bass X spinning rod. Um, we also got the Mad Bull and the Super Destroyer P5 reviews coming, so stay tuned. I, those are absolutely coming. Just, you know, hang in there with me. Um, but until then, let's see what Ben sent us this month in June from the Hookup Tackle. We're going to open this up on the top side. All right. Fishing's been awesome, by the way. We're in post-spawn on smallmouth and largemouth. Well, salt, the largemouth up here are 100% in their summer patterns. Smallmouth are in their post-spawn patterns. Um, I'm going to go out smallmouth chasing this weekend in Wisconsin for 4th of July. We got our card right off the top. Uh, we'll go through this as we go. Oh, this month the card, they're only talking about the Pop Max and the 110. There's no other mentions of baits on the card. Um, all right, right off the top, I see there's a soft plastic. Okay, so this is DRT with Working Class Zero. Um, so if you're not in the swim bait world, you don't pay attention to Working Class Zero or DRT, you've never heard of the Clash baits, like the Tiny Clash and the Clash 9. Most, probably most of the people watching my channel have heard of this. Uh, but if you haven't, um, DRT and World Cla Working Class Zero, Working Class Zero is like a swim bait brand. Um, they, they partner up with DRT. They made these ba baits called the Cramp Shad. I've seen this featured a few times online. Um, I've seen the working class people talk, working class zero people talk about these. It's kind of a swim bait, but it's got like a fork tail on the top and a swim bait on the bottom. Um, you can rig these on like a jig head, uh, and they have this weird rolling action. Like if you pop them, they actually almost like spin around. It's really strange. So it's kind of like a, a little different take on a paddle tail swim bait. Um, here, we'll just pop one out real quick so you know what I'm talking about. I was never going to buy one of these. Like, I've seen these pop up, and I'm like, I have a lot of swim baits, man. I got so many Kytex and so many other swim baits, spark shads and whatnot. I'm like, I don't know if I really need these. Um, so that's why I didn't order them. But since Ben sent these to me, I'm definitely going to check them out. Uh, wow, that's quite the clamshell that these things come in, I'll tell you. So what is this color? This is Joy Thief. Okay, so Joy Thief is the working class zero color uh, that they they do in like tiny clashes and stuff. So this is like an this is a color that working class zero apparently designed and DRT is producing it. So like I said, you can tell there's this fork tail on the back. Well, it's not even a fork tail. It's almost got like a shark fin. It's like it's got a, a fin that comes off the back. Um, does that make it better than just a regular paddle tail? I don't know. Um, it's interesting. Is it useful? That's a whole nother question. I've never used this bait, so I'm not sure. But anyway, so we got cramp shad. I'm guessing there's rigging involved with this in the box. I've seen some mentions of, of terminal tackle. Sure enough, we got a depths mid midst jig head. M I D S T. I think I'm saying that right. Midst. These are weedless. That's interesting. Two watt weedless hooks. So what's interesting is this is going to be for rigging it on the swim baits. Um, I've noticed that when people rig these things, they seem to use really small jig heads, um, not like a big half ounce or I'm sorry, quarter ounce like or three eighths. This is uh, this is five grams. Let's see head weight. There's a whole bunch of different weights on there. Oh, it's 2.5 grams. Rolling action generator. 
So yeah, I don't know. It's just a typical lead jig head, nothing special. Um, okay, so we got some heads to use with these things. Let's see, oh, we got more paddle tails. Okay, so we got the HP shad tail. Now the, the OSP shad tail is slightly different than your regular um, swim bait. And that I think is because there, is this the chambered? No, this is not the chambered version. Uh, OSP has cha like uh, swim baits that have like a, 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 is that the HP minnow? Yeah, the HP minnow. Anyway, this is just a regular old little finesse uh, paddle tail 3.6. So I'm guessing these, what's cool is that these jig heads can definitely go on this thing um and the bigger so you got you got a big one and a small one what's interesting is uh this will absolutely get bit by smallmouth and walleyes up in the north country here i could see walleyes inhaling this thing so if i throw that on this little jig head and i find a school of walleyes uh these walleyes will go nuts for this this is really soft by the way holy cow like look how limp this is look how wiggly anyway osp baits always come just caked in their scent and slime and a lot of salt I have some cuts on my finger from flipping uh, this weekend, and that salt is already getting into my finger, and I can feel it. Um, the flipping bite has been amazing for largemouth in the last couple of weeks, so I've been flipping really heavy, uh, so that's been fun. All right, we got more OSP in the box. We have the High Pitcher. Now, this is not the first time uh, Ben has put an OSP spinnerbait in the bento box. I think this is the second appearance. This is a half ounce. And I will tell you, the high pitcher, I have, an, I have another one of these, it gets bit. This is a very effective uh, spinnerbait. I like this a lot better than the Daiwa Steez Jania spinnerbaits. Um, I, this thing just gets bit. It's got a really great, act, great action of water. The wire can actually hold up to like largemouth pike and bigger fish. Doesn't get bent out. Um, so up here in the North Country, sometimes like JDM style, uh, light wire spinner baits don't do so well because we have big northern pike like we're talking 30 to 40 inch northern pike up here i mean even small northern pike can really mess up a spinner bait but a lot of these like jdm and light wire spinner baits don't hold up well to pike um so that's why i kind of avoid them however the osp Spinner bait and the Mega Bass uh, spinner bait, the SV3 does really well up here in the North Country as well. Like that's a pretty tough. If you want to go kind of trick JDM spinner bait, the Mega Bass one is definitely legit. Anyway, this is the high pitcher. This is the half ounce. Um, we got double willow blades. Um, I have, like I said, this is not the first time I've thrown one of these. The other OSP high pitcher I have works really well. Gets bit. I usually throw a little little trailer on the back. Don't need a big trailer for these things. Um, anyway, I'm happy to get another one of these. Um, the one I have, I've beaten up and it's still working. It's still not bent out, but I, I love having a backup. And actually, I have a tournament this Wednesday um, and it's going to be really windy. And I might actually just throw this on the Mad Bowl and have this locked and loaded for fishing our tournament uh, this weekend. Okay, so the next hard bait we have in the bento box is a Lucky Craft Japan. Uh... I don't know what type of bait this is. Uh, I know this is a like a, I'm never gonna throw this. This is this I don't like micro cranks. Um, it's not my style. I like bigger square bills if I'm gonna throw a crank or deeper diving like balsa baits. Uh, I don't know what the what this thing is called because the back is in uh, Japanese. Anyway, I got a micro crank. I'm really not cool with this. This is kind of lame. I don't, we don't fish streams up here. We don't fish, we don't fish trout. Uh, I don't know where I'm ever going to throw this. So if anyone's interested in this bait, <laughs> hit me up on Instagram and I will definitely uh, hook you up with this thing. Uh, but yeah, I don't really know anything about this bait. I don't like micro cranks. I'm never going to throw them. I don't do BFS. Uh, small crank baits are not really anything I'm, I'm into. So this is definitely a dud. Not cool with this. Uh, but here we go. The 110 of Pop Max. Let's read the card this month. This is called, uh, this is a very strange color. This is called Matte Lizard. Now, this is not the first time these Matte Lizard colors have come out. We'll talk about that in a second. So, let's read the card from Ben. I'm all about balancing the natural with the crazy. And when crazy ends up being a color that is a mega fish catcher, then it's go time. Matte Red Lizard is one of those colors. It's one of the wildest colorations in the Mega Bass world. And... 
it's all tied in with the lizard skin crackle effect. The matte oranges, reds, and purples really let this bait pop in dirty water, stained water, and even clear water. Fish get fired up at. Don't you love when people write bait descriptions and they say it'll work in dark water, like stained water, oh, and in clear water. So basically it works in all water. Why don't you just, <laughs> I love when people write, I mean, it's not just Ben, but like all bait companies are like, it'll work in dark and stained water, but it'll also work in clear water. So it basically works in water. Just say that. Like, I don't, why do you got to call out all the different shades of water that it'll work in? Like when you say, <laughs> anyway, just copy marketing uh, a fluff that I, I think is entertaining. Anyway, uh, the only problem is you're going to have, oh wait, the only problem with, the only problem you're going to have with this color is deciding whether to use it or, and have a good time or to collect it. That's true. A lot of people just collect. It's one of the most collectible colors on the planet. Either way, enjoy. So let's take a quick look at this bait. Um, so there's a big difference between this and the original uh, matte lizard colors. There's a green lizard and a red one. So this is not the first time that these baits have been out. Um, but the biggest difference is the eyes. In the original lizard baits um, from Mega Bass, the, they had lizard eyes. So like it had a really cool dark slitted like snake eye on these things. And these things have just the regular eye, which I think is, is okay. I, I mean, I don't really care which eye it has, but if you're going to do the lizard baits, you should probably, I, I wish they would have done the lizard eyes. I think it would have been even cooler, but anyway, it's matte. It's not glossy. Let's look at the top. So you got a, like a pearl blue to a purplish kind of thing going on. Then you got your orange and red, and then you got the cracked uh, red belly. Now, I can see why people won't be super jazzed to throw this color just because it's very strange. Um, in Wisconsin, in smallmouth waters, I definitely think this works. Any kind of reds usually work pretty well. Um, reds, crazy colors, this kind of stuff absolutely gets bit. Especially, to me, what's funny is to me, this color in the walleye world would be totally normal. Like in the bass world, it's like, oh, it's a crazy weird color. But in the walleye world, this is like tame. Like there's even crazier colors when you put this kind of stuff together. So to me, this is almost like a musky slash walleye inspired color scheme. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, all the walleye guys would be like, oh, I have five cranks that look like that. Psh, big deal. Um, so anyway, I think the pop max though in this bait looks really great. So we're gonna pop that open real quick, take a peek at it. Um, so I think like if I'm gonna throw one of these, it's probably gonna be the pop max. Um, I love when the pop maxes are hooked into the, okay. So here, this is great. So we got, let's get a good look at this bad boy. So this looks awesome in the pop max. You really see a ton of the crackle. Fish are just gonna see that orange you know, under the water like that, like that's really cool. They're never gonna see the top of that blue. That that's just for that's just for us, right? Um, but anyway, I, I have to say I really really dig the pop max. I think this is sweet. Like the 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 one ten's cool. It's fine. This is rad. Um, if I'm gonna fish, if I'm gonna throw a bait tomorrow, it's gonna be one. It's probably gonna be the pop max. I like it. They gave it the red feather, which is also nice. Anyway, uh, the bento box this month was very. Um, very swim bait heavy. Now I know like when you run these little jig heads with these paddle tails and you fish them really slow on the bottom and you kind of like twitch them, I think that's called like the Biwa rig. Um, I, I mean, it's, it's a paddle tail on a jig head. I mean, why do we got to come up with a zillion names for these rigs? But I'm pretty sure that Ben is going for the Biwa rig, like super finesse, little head, light bait, but also we also got the bigger size too. Um, and you're supposed to fish these really slow on the bottom, maybe even like vertical fish them, but like hit the bottom and then they just roll, slow roll them back and you kind of twitch, twitch and get them to roll a bit. Um, anyway, I'm going to try it. Uh, this weekend I can definitely throw these for smallies and walleyes when I'm in Wisconsin. Uh, this, the high pitcher, I'm definitely going to probably tie on for a tournament on Wednesday. Um, the only dud in this box is definitely the micro lucky craft. I know these are super niche and people like these, but I am not one of them. Uh, so because of this bait, I'm going to give this box an eight out of 10, maybe even a seven and a half. Um, I like the spinner bait, love the pop max. I have a million paddle tail swim baits. I don't really need more. Um, we got two of them. Maybe it could have diversified a little bit, but I get it. He's trying to find more baits to go with this, um, depths, uh, little jig head. So that's cool. I get it. I'll, I'll try them. Seems nice. Um, uh, anyway, that's the unboxing this month. Not my favorite box, but a pretty good one. Just not upper tier, that's for sure. Uh, but anyway, 
stay tuned. Uh, more rod reviews coming. Got some other stuff planned. And uh, if you enjoyed and watched this far into the video, please hit like and subscribe. I would much appreciate it. And until the next one, we'll see you guys soon. Take it easy.